One of the most used filters in crossovers is shelf filters. A low shelf filter is actually a kind of high pass filter. It adjusts the level of the low frequencies to be equal to the high frequencies. A high shelf filter conversely, does it. So if we want to design a shelf filter, we need to design either high or low pass filters. A high pass for low a shelf, and a low pass for a high shelf. You may say, what is the use? If you want to design a sealed box speaker, you'll contain an unwanted effect called baffle loss. It reduces the low frequencies. Many people like bass, and this negative effect takes away from their enjoyment. The high shelf filter actually reduces the high frequencies, and you can hear more of the bass frequencies. A negative point of this method is a 6 dB reduction in the sound level. But if you want to design a sealed box with a single driver, the high shelf filter is recommended. A very good suggestion to remove the baffle loss is a transmission line. You won't need to use a high shelf filter if you make a transmission line, and the 6 dB reduction won't happen. The negative point of the transmission line is unwanted nulls in frequency response. You can watch this series to learn more about the transmission lines. This website link is available in the description. These are the first order crossover formula. L1 and C1 are all we need to design a first order crossover. After calculation, all we need is to put a resistor in parallel with either L1 or C1 for making the shelf filters. Suppose we want to design a 1000 Hz crossover. The driver impedance is 8 ohms for the high and low frequency drivers. You can use the website calculator which is designed based on the said formulas. Open Vituixcad software. Now create an 8 ohm driver. In the next video, we will design the filters for a real driver. Connect an inductor with the calculated inductance value to the driver. So far, we've designed a low pass filter. To make a shelf filter, you need to put a resistor in parallel with the inductor. The higher the resistance, the more reduction. And in reverse, Since we've obtained the value of C1, we can make a low shelf filter. You should know a low shelf filter is not usually used in crossovers. The resistor value in this filter, like the high shelf filter, adjusts the level. Thanks for watching.